Even if you have the money, foreign you bikes get a are bike. just a pain in ass. I mean, unfortunately, they are. They, they, are, they do. They are. Pain. They have crazy power. I've ridden the KTM 450. Oh my God, it's like three impulse engines together. That much power, but again. Yeah, okay, so I mean, if you ride with us for six hours, mm -hmm. you have to change. I the have oil. to change the oil. Hope you guys are very, very good morning. Before we go ahead, oh, we're now doing something nice with all our answers right here. We're going to have a small game. I'm going to have some merchandise from Hero, some dishes from Hero that I'm just going to be giving away to you. My bike needs to be more like this and less like the way it is right now. Okay, but that's the problem. The thing is, uh, one second. This is the thing. Okay. You've taken a small round. You've hardly gone above 3000 RPM and the bike feels very lively. It does. The problem with the NS carburetor is post 6000 where you want to cruise at 6500 if i'm not mistaken the charisma R engine can go up to 7000 7500 yes. yes. so post 5500 is where the carburetor acts funny is what i've noticed you kind of lose out on the top end yes. and the problem with me is people my age actually ride tigers and 650s and all and catching up with them you need a bike with a good top end speed i so but again I'm not blaming the NS carburetor, I'm blaming not getting the right mechanic. I found a good mechanic, I'm getting the engine completely tuned up. Hopefully by the end of next week, my bike should be as good as it can possibly get. But uh, rest, again, the thing with impulses is everyone thinks it's an imported bike. <laughs> that's the best part. True. And, uh, yeah, and that's, that's maintaining them is. is so much easier than maintaining a foreign bike in India. Even if you have the money, foreign you bikes get a are bike. just a pain in ass. I mean, unfortunately, they are. They, they, are, they do. They are. Pain. They have crazy power. I've ridden the KTM 450. Oh my God, it's like three impulse engines together. That much power, but again. <laughs> How expensive are these parts? Yeah, expensive. Okay, so I mean, if you ride with us for six hours, mm -hmm. you have to change. I have the oil. to change the oil. I have to change the clutch plate. Everything. You have to change the clutch plate. Yeah, as yeah well. oil filter, clutch plate. Oh. How, just to give us an example, what's the cost of a clutch plate? Yeah, it's around eight and a half, nine thousand. Okay, so it's expensive to ride this bike. <laughs> that much power, but again, it depends on how much you earn. If you have a yearly income of 1 crore rupees, you don't mind spending 2-3 lakh rupees on the bike. And everything but, else that comes with huh, it that you got to spend. Exactly, but two. if you own like 20% of that amount, maybe not kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of guys, even now the guys who want to motocross, who want to rally, hmm. they will still keep going back to an impulse. I know guys who have expulses and they keep on going back to yeah, impulse. Yeah, and they end up rallies, they're doing like Desert Storm, they're doing hmm. Raid. But they will go back to an impulse and be like, hey, you know what, I'm just going to do a swap. And because it's so much easier to now work with them because there are a few people that can because they've done that research and they've spent that time exactly. burnt their hands. What happens with the foreign bike is, especially if you're racing with them, uh, you could be in a fix. If, if the guy doesn't know what he's doing and here's the problem, half of them, no one's ever going to tell you that I don't really know. They'll say, hey, leave it, I'll do it. And they're probably on YouTube figuring out it out themselves. I'm like, dude, I could do that. So you can't really take that chance with such an expensive bike because if you mess up, you probably are done with that whole bike and all you'll have is tears. So I feel, yes, if you make that kind of hmm. crazy money, go for it. Hmm. But if you're like us, enthusiastic, and you kind of want to also keep some money with you at the end of the month so that you can eat, go with an impulse and try whatever combination you can. Uh, but uh, overall, yeah, I mean, it's it's nice to find meet someone who owns an impulse. You, you kind of have that connect. Oh, you still own an impulse. Yeah, especially when I'm now that I meet someone not only with an impulse, also with a Kazma engine. There's in general, there's so much. Okay, I can ask this person. Probably he's already burnt his hands, and maybe hmm. you know he can give me a heads up. Like 
the mechanic hmm you hook me up over there so it's always good to kind of have someone with the same experiences and i don't find a lot of people who ride impulses anymore other than my girlfriend who has a stock bone stock impulse oh your girlfriend rides an impulse so that impulse was mine i uh, one day in the flow of emotion gifted it to her we got to like bone stock and uh, then i kept missing the impulse so i got another one for myself so my story of the impulse i sold the impulse after 3 years i realized i really needed it back and i i got it back from the guy now the sad story of selling my bikes i sold my 1982 yesterday to a really well off person and he's not willing to give it back to me even at three times the rate that he had purchased it so i'm like fuck but at least i sold my impulse to a guy who kind of needed money at that time i'm like take the money give me my bike back that impulse that's exactly what happened the my girlfriend's impulse huh. the stock one i sold it like a fool and he sold it to another guy hmm that dude sold it to someone else hmm and years later i was like you know what i probably want the bike back i call that guy he's like yeah i want to move on to an adventure sure i'll sell it to you i was like awesome so i got my impulse back too so there again i think there's a common thread yeah yeah so in short do not sell your impulse do not sell your impulse just do not collect them if you can they're going to go up in price one day for sure yeah that's there but the the problem is it's like digging a hole and just putting money and burying it how much ever you invest how, irrespective of the escalation in over resale value you're never going to get what you've invested you in it you, 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 so i have a rxz i purchased it for 11000 rupees 8 years ago now just the rxz tank a good condition rxz tank cost nothing more than nothing less than 9000 you can see how two strokes also anything that's rare and finally people find the value in it it escalates unfortunately hero did not i don't think they invested enough marketing budget on this bike but at least i'm glad they got us introduced yes. to a proper adventure bike because there was there was the bajaj sfx enduro you know the kb100 wala i never really saw one on the road i i remember seeing i made a video on it you did uh, it's I a youtube shot i have to make a proper video i met him during the two stroke event so it was it's it's pretty fun Yeah. I think I always tried looking up for it because my pop had one of these uh, brochures and I saw it over there and I was like when will this ever come to an I think this was when Bajaj was collaborated had collaborated with Kawasaki. Kawasaki. Right? So there was uh, that whole line of bikes there was uh, the, imp- the sorry Impulse. There is the Pulsar, there was the Illuminator. No, it was but, but this the SX Enduro thing was long ago. It was in the 90s. Oh, it was in the 90s. So then I'm talking about a different You you're, you're talking of a different era of Bajaj. That time you had the KB one hundred, you had the KB one twenty five. This was the KB one hundred with a modified exhaust, uh, higher ground clearance, uh, longer travel suspension. You are going to make a full video. On I that. I know the guy. He lives in Thane. I've anyways made a video during the two stroke event. I'll make a restoration video. Again, depends on how many likes or views I get. But okay, that's a subject. Another. It's a completely different story. <laughs> but. Uh, Anyways, uh, it was nice meeting you. Thank you so much. It was definitely a nice meeting. I mean, I'm a fan. I that's what I told you the first time. I'm like, I do Thank watch you. your videos because I think you do. You're doing some great stuff. Thank uh, you. Thank and I you. know it's a niche market, especially with motorcycles, where everyone else is running behind the new thing. Very few people dedicated enough, and very few people actually covering this kind of content. So thank you very much for that. Thank you. Thank you for coming on the channel. Thank you for the compliments. <laughs> and guys, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Uh,